Astronomers estimate that there are between 100 to 200 billion galaxies in the cosmos. Each one of these galaxies is unique with different shapes, size, colors, and the amount of stars, gas, and dust in them, all being held together by gravity. Stars and planets are all round, so why don't galaxies follow a similar pattern? To get a better understanding of this topic, we need to know how galaxies are formed. As clouds of dust and stars swirl around space, gravity pulls other objects closer to it, eventually knitting them together to form one giant spinning pack of stars and dust. Slowly they get bigger and bigger by pulling other masses into it due to its ever-growing gravitational force. Collisions within the galaxy can then sling material towards the outskirts of the galaxy, thus creating spiral arms filled with colonies of stars. There are three main types of galaxies, spirals, ellipticals, and irregulars. First up we have the spirals. These are the most common type of galaxy, accounting for 77% of all known galaxies in our universe. They consist of three main components, a bulge, a disk, and a halo. The bulge is a compact group of stars within a large star formation. The stars in the bulge are typically a lot older, but in spiral galaxies they can also hold young and intermediate stars. The bulge is the centerpiece of a spiral galaxy that almost looks like a glowing orb. The disk is the clear ring or spiral you can see around a galaxy. The stars in the disks of a spiral galaxy are generally much younger than the ones found in the halo and bulge. Finally, the halo is essentially the spherical population of stars that surrounds the disk. It makes up the least luminous part of a spiral galaxy. Only about 1% of a galaxy's mass resides in the halo. In the Milky Way galaxy, the stars in its halo are mostly older, with the vast majority having ages older than 12 billion years. These stars are similar to the ones found in the halo and are likely among the first galactic objects to form. The spiral galaxy's beautiful twisting arm formation is a bit of a mystery to scientists. One theory suggests that the encounters between other galaxies may cause waves that ripples through the two galaxies before eventually combining. Regardless of how they are formed, they are my personal favorite type of galaxy to look at. The Pinwheel Galaxy is quite a beautiful sight to look at, as is the Andromeda Galaxy. Next up, we have the Elliptical Galaxies. These are classified by their oval shape and lack of central bulge that's so evident in the spiral galaxy. The stars and gases in an elliptical galaxy aren't centered around a particular area and are usually evenly spread out. However, the center of it is still the brightest area. More often than not, an elliptical galaxy is composed of older, lower mass stars as opposed to newer ones, typically found in the majority of a spiral galaxy. They tend to be surrounded by a large amount of globular clusters, which are an extremely tightly bound collection of stars. There is very little gas or dust in an elliptical galaxy, thus resulting in a low star formation and few young stars. However, one of the largest galaxies in the observable universe is an elliptical galaxy known as IC1101. It halo extends 2 million light years from its core and contains around 100 trillion stars. For comparison, our galaxy contains around 100 to 400 billion stars. Just let that sink in. No, not literally. Now for all the galaxies that don't fall under the main categories of elliptical and spiral, we call those irregular galaxies. This is a galaxy that does not have a distinct shape and may be more unique from the rest. These types of galaxies are often random in their appearance and usually don't have a bulge or, sp or spiraled arms of any kind. Scientists estimate that they make up around 25% of all galaxies. Some of these were actually elliptical or spiral galaxies previously but were forced out of shape due to external gravitational forces, be it a supernova or collisions. Irregular galaxies are usually quite small, about one-tenth the mass of the Milky Way galaxy. Here is an image taken by the Hubble Space Telescope of the irregular galaxy known as IC3583. You can clearly see it does not have a distinct shape or fit into the category of spiral or elliptical. It almost has a rectangular shape to it. It is a pretty sight to look at though. If you go to a dark enough sky, you can actually see some of these galaxies with the naked eye. 
although they won't look as cool as the photos of a 1.5 billion dollar telescope in space. If you're lucky enough to live in an area with low light pollution, you can see galaxies that appear as smudges such as the Andromeda and Triangulum galaxy. Only a month ago, NASA released a new photo taken by the Hubble telescope of the Black Eye galaxy and it is absolutely mesmerizing. It's one of the coolest galaxy photos I've seen and it just may top my favorite galaxy list. What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. It's naive to think that we are the only ones here in this vast universe of ours. There is surely some other life out there like us. Whether that be in a spiral, elliptical, or a regular galaxy, I sure hope we find out someday. Enjoy the video? Why not leave a like or hit the subscribe button for more content just like this one? Or just check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching!